All right, Shalom, back with another lesson called Law Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Makakudas, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. All right, this lesson is just going to be simply um, there will be a war when Yahweh Shai returns. Okay? All right, and the people will be fighting against each other. All right, so I just want to read a, a little bit of this article here. Um, it's from a USA, USA Today. It says, election protests across the U.S. National Guard activated in Portland. Trump supporters gather in Phoenix. Uh, then it just says Las Vegas. I guess they gather in Phoenix and Las Vegas. But uh, it says, protesters took to the streets in cities across the U.S. Wednesday for a second night as the 2020 presidential election inched closer to declaring a winner. Tensions ran high into the night following a mostly peaceful start to the day, with reports of widespread violence leading to the National Guard being deployed in Portland, Oregon. Arrests were also made in Minneapolis and New York City with the NYPD confiscating weapons. More than 100 events are planned nationwide between Wednesday and Saturday, organized by local partners to protect the results. A coalition of more than 165 grassroots organizations, advocacy groups, and labor unions. The group, led by activist groups, Indivisible and Stand Up America has decided not to hold hundreds more events that were initially planned. In Washington, D.C., organizers have shut down D.C. plan for more aggressive actions as the week goes as the week goes on, depending on the outcome, whether President Donald Trump wins or whether he tries to question the results. We knew this would happen. The advocacy Group said in a tweet calling for a rally Wednesday with the hashtags deliver democracy and count every vote. And you know what's funny about that? They talk about they say deliver democracy and count every vote, but at the same time, your vote doesn't really count when when it depends on the electoral college. Because otherwise, if your vote actually counted or you would count every vote, you would actually go based on the popular votes, you know. But that's neither here nor there anyway, because it's they're all selected, pre-selected anyway. Uh, here's a brief look at overnight news. Groups of President Trump supporters gathered at the Arizona Capitol and in Las Vegas to demand election workers keep counting ballots. Demonstrators in Philadelphia were seen holding signs that said count every vote. Oregon Governor Kate Brown activated the state's National Guard in response to widespread violence in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, they they they've been uh they've been on some out out in Oregon for the past few months ever since uh you know someone got shot down. Okay, they still haven't settled down out there. Uh, the New York Police Department said more than twenty people who attempted to hijack a peaceful protest by lighting fires throwing garbage and eggs in Manhattan. Hundreds gathered in downtown Chicago for a Trump out. <laughs> a Trump out. Power to the people protest. The Los Angeles Police Department announced for the second day in a row a citywide tactical alert to ensure sufficient resources to address any incidents that may arise as a result of Election Day activities. Several demonstrators were detained, police said. Now, like I said, you can see so many different things are going on in so many different cities and across the U.S. That's all. That's all I'm gonna read on that. It's it's just gonna get gonna get kind of redundant because the the basis of uh, I was just going into is the fact that um, there will be protests, riots, uproars of the people. You know, wars, uh, wars, uh, people fighting against each other. All that you know during the time in which you know up until your house shot comes back, and so. Um, I'm going to get a couple of scriptures on that. This is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1 through 3. 
says the burden of Egypt. Behold, Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and and the cloud is the chariot and shall come into Egypt. Is that is this not spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom in Egypt here in America? And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, the people fighting against each other. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. Okay. Uh, everyone is people going to be fighting against each other, you know, uh, the people against people, brother against brother, neighbor against neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right, that's just an all-out uproar of the people, civil unrest, okay? Uh, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 13, I'm going to start at 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. Okay? The people are going to be fighting. Uh, up, you know, then we have a shot coming back with his host, the angels. They're going to try to fight him and the angels. Okay? And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the signs shall happen, which I showed thee before. And then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. Okay? Yahweh is going to be declared in that time. And it says, And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall leave Salakia. Every man shall in their own land leave the battle they have one against another. So they're going to stop fighting against each other. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as thou sawest them willing to come and to overcome him by fighting. So they're going to stop fighting against each other. And then and then turn to Yahweh Shai and, and the angels and fight them. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna, you know, you know that that they're saying the enemy of my the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Oh, Salaki, the enemy of my enemy is my enemy. Okay. So they're gonna put aside their differences. <laughs> And be like, oh, hey, shit, so I'm invading us. We we got to turn and fight, and, and fight this off. But they're not going to be able to do that. Okay? But he shall stand up on the top of Mount Zion, and Zion shall come and shall be showed to all men being prepared and build it like as thou sawest the hill graven without hands. That's that big fathership, you know, that big, that big chariot, you know, that's going to be huge. And this, my son, shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations, which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempest, and shall lay before them their evil thoughts and torments, wherewith they shall begin to be tormented, which are like unto a flame. And he shall destroy them without labor by the law, which is like unto fire. He's going to destroy them with fire. By fire he shall plead with his people. Okay? That's how they're all being gathered together. They're going to take the fight against each other. And then when the house I come, they're going to leave the battle against each other to fight him. All right. So quick, quick hitter there. Hope you edified. Shalom.